Hello Aries, I'm here to give you insight. This is going to be your mid-month reading for January. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys from the 15th to the 31st of January. Okay, Aries, the moon. So some unexpected events. You could be dealing with a mother figure or a mother figure could be uh, a major focus for you. Um, I do see that um, some of you are going to be really in tune during this time. Um, I was hearing psychically, psychically um, sensitive. Okay. Um, I also see the moon as if I didn't say this like phases, you going through a phase. I was hearing a cycle. It's closing. And then we have the 10 or Knight of Pentacles here. Okay, I was hearing unexpected windfalls. So um, this could be some type of support uh, being offered to you unexpectedly. Uh, this could be news about uh, stability, fin finance, um, some type of offer is being made to you. Okay, then we have the Two of Cups. So for some of you, this could very well talk about like some type of promotion, a raise, something like that. If that's not the case, this is uh, somebody from the past. Um, uh, reaching out, I was hearing reconciliation, okay, with the Two of Cups. King of Cups, you could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could have this in your chart as well. So just feeling really loved, feeling, um, I was hearing feeling abundant uh, during this time. Okay, somebody could make you feel really abundant, um, make you feel really loved and supported. The Ace of Swords. So um, I see the Ace of Swords as the truth. Okay, finding out the truth. I do see the King of Cups and the Ace of Swords as like your intuition being right. Okay, um, you being right about something. Okay, your intuition um, proved you right. Then we have the star. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius or you could have Aquarius in your chart. So this is a card um, or an energy of healing. So you very well could be focusing on your healing, focusing on, um, yeah, just healing after a very difficult time I see here. Uh, what else am I seeing here? Um, definitely an energy, strong energy of like reconciliation and healing a relationship after a very difficult time. Definitely a strong energy of that. Reconciling with someone. This is this could already um, have come to pass, Aries, where you've reconciled with someone and now you guys are moving in the right direction. I was hearing that somebody may have cold feet. All right, there may, be, there may be somebody with cold feet. You could be this person with the cold feet. Okay. What else do we got? Um, somebody that's an earth sign person, a Capricorn Taurus Virgo that um, wants the truth. They want a sense of direction. They pretty much want to know what your plans are, what you want to do, or this could be the other way around. Okay. Somebody could be showing up as the King of Cups where they're feeling... Um, I don't know, they're, they're kind of sure of themselves. They know what they want or they appear that way, but there's still some type of confusion, something a bit off about this situation or connection. I was hearing um, lacking a sense of direction. Okay, what else is going on with Aries? The mid month, January. Okay, you are dealing with a star seed or you are the star seed here. So you could be connecting with like minded people. You could be finding your soul tribe as well. This could be a call for you to step out of your comfort zone. Uh, maybe you're needing to um, put your gifts on display. Um, they could be unique gifts, okay? So it's embodying these gifts. It's putting them on display. It's being comfortable in the skin that you're in, okay? Some of you could feel alienated, I was hearing. Okay, then we have the tin foil <laughs> hat. Okay, so there could be a situation that could be overstimulating you, or there can be somebody that appears overstimulated here. So for some of you, you're needing to take some time out to just, just, I don't know, take, take some time out to quiet your mind here, because this is definitely an energy of being overly stimulated here. Um, there's a lot of static, there could be a lot of mental chatter, 
these could be outside influences that you're needing to protect yourself from and then love and gaslight lord okay so you could be dealing with somebody that you're in love with but they've maybe had a history of gaslighting you or they are gaslighting you maybe you are this gaslighter okay take it out the resonance okay what else do we got going on like aries 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 some of you could be finding the truth out about something or someone. There is. There is. There is. We have the spell. The spell is cast, let go. So some of you could be, you know, casting spells, maybe um, doing some um, cord cutting spells. Um, this could also just be encouragement for you to let go of what is no longer serving you, maybe letting go of the need of uh, the need for control, um, whatever. OK, it's something that you're needing to let go and maybe spell work can help you do so. And then we have the forest seeing the bigger picture. So you're encouraged to see the bigger picture in your situation. All right. This makes a lot of sense with the Ace of Swords. This is the truth. OK, this is cutting through the bullshit, cutting through the emotions, seeing the bigger picture. For some of you, Aries, you, it may be a call for you to take a look at yourself, the role that you're playing in your life or maybe the role other people are playing in playing in your life. I also see that some of you, Aries, are peeping other people's game. OK, you see kind of what they are about. You see the deal. You're seeing the clear a clear picture and then we have midnight moth distraction so you're encouraged to not be distracted by low vibrational energies people i feel like there could be someone that's trying to distract you there's an energy of someone having um like a false false light okay somebody may appear to have to be like love and light but they're really not okay so aries be very careful with this this is also a call for you to um be mindful not to be in this type of energy it's important to be your true authentic self come from a place of truth of course um but for others of you i see that this could be a distraction somebody's trying to distract you okay they're trying to um take you off of your your square okay and then your advice going forward going to use the tree of life oracle your advice going forward your advice going forward it's a random pick for aries your advice going forward is the path the 30th path the sun purpose vision self-mastery so this is you okay needing to have more confidence it's the sun so the sun is about the self main concerns and vitality so you're encouraged to move forward with purpose and vision and intention and self-mastery i see this as just you working on yourself um, developing your skills developing um just your talents things like that okay so that's your advice going forward and this is the end of your reading aries